Hi everyone, this is Kasia, feeling artsy and today we're gonna learn how to draw ruffled cuffs. This is like a basic cuff with a button and this is more flouncy cuff that is just pinched together with a ribbon and they both have two layers. These ruffles fold both ways and these all go one way. If you enjoy drawing with me, make sure you subscribe down below. To complete this project you will need a piece of paper and a pencil. I'm using a mechanical pencil with uh, 0 0.5 lead. My lead is 2B, so it's a little softer than the regular pencil. The first cuff we're going to draw is going to be like a regular cuff with a button and then we're going to put ruffles on it. So we will begin by drawing a rectangle. Draw it lightly for now. Once you have your rectangle, so the rectangle is your cuff, we can uh, darken this edge and this edge, but this one we're going to round up here. And then you can darken your sides. You can add seam lines, so um, perforated line like this. We're going to add a button, so the button will be a circle. And um, the two dots for the holes in the button, and you can do a thin line that connects them. And then here, we're going to see a piece of a buttonhole. Now, the sleeve would be here, so you can indicate it by drawing curved lines. And then um, you can add some more lines that will show us that the sleeve, the fabric bunches in in such a cuff. Now the ruffles. So we will do, I'm going to do a thin line here that will be like a guide for me to show me where the ruffles fall. So as long as you want your ruffles to be, as far as you want them to go, you kind of want to put it there. And it's going to curve here. We can erase this sharp corner. And my first ruffle will be here. And then I'm going to draw my squiggly line, just like I did on the just regular ruffles. So in and out, it kind of looks like puzzle pieces. Now, to make it more realistic, we're going to draw lines that will go under our cup. And then, right here in these corners, we can shade them in. Now if you want to add a second layer of ruffles, we're going to do another line, like a guide again. However long you want your ruffles to be, so that's how far it will go. And you would do the same thing. So squiggly line again. And then same thing like last time, we can connect these lines, make them go under the other ruffles. And then darken the corners. Now you can add more details to it, you can add some lines on these. Okay, now let's do the other sleeve. The other sleeve will also begin with a rectangle, but it's going to be a skinny rectangle. 
and this sleeve I'm going to make it more poofy coming out to the sides so there's more fabric bunched up and once again I can um, add some lines that show me that there's fabric here that's being bunched up the ruffles so this time I'm going to make my ruffles go at an angle so I'm going to draw my guide shape which will be like a crooked trapezoid so it's gonna go longer here and shorter here and connect it at a diagonal and all the ruffles are going to fold one way so there will be a squiggly line but it will squiggle just one way so like this And now, same thing to make it more realistic, you're going to darken your corners, but just on one side, and you're going to draw lines going up towards the top of the cup. You can add little seam, seam lines. And you can add some more lines here. And we're going to do two layers of the ruffles. So again, the second layer comes out here. And that's again in the diagonal. And same thing. Squiggly line. Going one way. lines going towards the top and shading in the corners now if you want your ruffles to be bigger you would draw your squiggles bigger so that shows you that the fabric is thicker or more flouncy now you can add a bow tie here if you want I hope you enjoyed my video, make sure to give me thumbs up and come back to see me soon!